CTO and co-founder of a company called Superbox. We have a, a continuous integration and release management for, for uh, blockchain applications, not only for the smart contracts, but for the production applications as a whole. And one of the things I wanted to talk about today is like, okay, the original topic is how can we reduce release anxiety for the blockchain domain? So, aka release management for smart contracts. And I'm not talking on the tuning level, I'm talking on the level. level. So, first and foremost, like obviously, automate, automate, automate. So, one of the most important parts when you want to release, uh, reduce your anxiety when actually performing deployments to main is then to anything like in, in blockchain is try to like, automate it as much as possible. The reason to do so is first and foremost not only for your own sake, because it's like you can repeat it many times and it's always deterministic, but also because, for example, like when you're dealing with auditors and all that, they can actually also audit your deployment strategy as well. So it's quite important to be able to automate your entire uh, line of the, actually not only your contracts and how you actually uh, uh, develop and test it, but also how you go everything to, to main it and so on. So, of course, uh, one thing is, I actually uh, I run into a few people and talk to this, and especially when you look at companies nowadays, I don't know if many of you guys like can relate to this, but uh, like what is usually the flow nowadays, what happens is like, okay, you might use some form of CI provider, Circle CI, uh, the GitLab, uh, Travis, any of this. And then that's great to be able to reach the testnet. So usually what happens is people actually have their own pipelines and their own everything build pipelines from form of like continuous delivery for testnet. And then when they need to actually deploy to main it, they actually just use Remix or they actually use locally deployments. And it's like, what the fuck? I mean, like, you should actually have immutability in your deployment. So you should actually build once and then be able to promote your, uh, your builds between different environments. That's the one on one on DevOps. But it's not happening. So, and why it's not happening? And it's because one of the main reasons that CIS issues have, like right now people don't use them, is because you need to expose your private keys. So one of the things that us in Superblocks, so we actually created uh, this full uh, CI service and then release management for a smart contract. So as you can see, for example, this is a normal CI that you would actually have with you know uh, some YAML that you put in your repository, and then you have different scripts that you can execute, especially important that is Docker and Docker, so I can actually build anything. But one of the interesting parts in here is like, okay, you can actually tag your Docker builds, for example, when you're doing your CI part, with this, for example, the GitHub, GitHub registry image and then like, like a commit. So you can always trace straight from your commits all the way to every different networks that you're deploying to be able to make sure you have full traceability of your deployments. And not only that, as you can see also, for example, once we actually can use the, the image that we actually created in the CI process, you can also use that image, which is immutable, and you can have all your dependencies already resolved, so you don't need to do npm install, for example, uh, to be able to perform migrations, in this case, if you're using Truffle. So, one of the things that it glues everything together, and it's like, how, how the hell is that possible to be able to not expose your private keys? So, one of the things that we actually created, and right now we are working towards like having this for Truffle as well, is that you can actually provide a super provider in your Truffle configuration. And then what we do with this is to be able to set up a, a tunnel all the way from our runners to your browser. So, we would actually queue up all the transactions that you need to sign, and then they would actually pop up in the dashboard with the, with the CI. And then you'll be able to actually sign those transactions using MetaMask or Ledger or anything, so we would actually never have to look at your private keys to be able to sign your, your transactions. And not only that, we actually will also um, extract all the, uh, the um, artifacts that you're creating, all the ABI, where the contracts have been deployed, and be able to trace all your, your deployments to make sure they're succeeding. So you will be able to see, as I say, your bills from CI all the way to, to the main. And then, yeah, finally, it's something looking like this. In this case, so as I say, we'll, the pop-up will come up. And then, of course, if you want to contact us and learn about more about DevOps and continuous integration for specifically for blockchain, please uh, contact me at Fargo or at Superblocks. And uh, uh, thank you so much for listening.